friends, I'm Colonel Failure and this is Train Fever with the Nordic DLC. As is traditional, we start with a couple of trains doing their train-like thing. How, long, how, how much is this guy packing at the moment? 72 of 72. Right, I, I definitely need to do something about this this twin route that I've got to, uh, transporting goods both to, to Haxby and to Masham. Uh, not that it, you know, not that it doesn't work. It's just that it does appear to be capped in terms of the amount we can uh, we can send in one hit. Uh, yeah, as I look at this, see, look, plenty of plenty of business, plenty of business going on here. We got another train coming. There's another it's four trains on screen at once. I got a bit overexcited last time around, so this time I'm going to take it all in stride. But that's a good sign. There's there's another one. Look. You know, it's just trains all over the place. Trains everywhere. Uh, right, okay, so today, what am I going to play at? Uh, today, we're going to uh, to do the last crossrail line, um, which is, uh, you know, get your head on straight first. It's Marlow uh, out to, uh, is it uh, is Kids, Kids, Kids Grove, Marlow? Kids Grove, Marlow. That sounds right. Kids Grove, Marlow. It's, it's that one, isn't it? Uh, via Haxby, obviously. So we've got Masham going to Bridport. We've got Poole going to Lost Withiel. Yes, we've got Marlow going to Kidsgrove. Right, yes, that's what we're doing. Okay, right, to work. So uh, the, the trickier element of this particular line is going to be the merger of services in this section here. Now, at the moment, I've got signaling here, and some of you are going to, you know, cast a, a glance askew as uh, as I'm going to build a junction off here somewhere, probably following that path I've got there, which means I need to move the signals because this uh, this diamond crossing here is uh, is kind of fundamental to making this work. So let's uh, let's bang a pausette in there, and then hope that these guys will just let me remove them without uh, without making too much of a fuss. And then it's just a question of, because I'm going to go for a bit of single line to start with, I can go as close to this diamond as possible to enable some uh, some switching to take place afterwards. Yeah. Okay, it's fine. I mean, that, well, I mean, there's not a lot of choice in the matter, really, unless I run a third line down here and put the merger later, which, you know, there might be some sense in that. But to be honest, it's going to, you know, the queue's going to happen whether I put it sooner or later or whatever. So let's get these signals back in immediately before everyone drives on the right. Everyone drives on the right. Uh, immediately before the diamond. Now, the question remains. I'm going to need to block the other direction somehow. And I don't want to put the, that signal before the bridge. Right, so this this signal here would largely be acting as a as a release rather than anything else, but if I leave it where it is, it's going to block the diamond. But that said, it's only going to block it from traffic coming this way. So there's no uh, no 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 because you could end up blocking the points. All right, so I only want one there. Let's put the other one far enough away. There we go. And then in an ideal world, you want the other one before the diamond. Except you still want to leave the bridge itself clear. So this is going to have to be uh, about there, I suppose. Let's take it as close to the diamond as we can get it. Which, I guess, is there. All right, we'll chance that to begin with and see if we have any success. Um, you know, place your bets as you wish. Uh, and then let's... Pull out a, if we can get a high speed junction off there, that'd be lovely. Because the 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 hope, the the aspiration is to be able to run uh, three services up and down each of these crossrail lines. Uh, because in doing so, they uh, they'll keep the the regularity pure, while uh, while at the same time uh, not getting in each other's way too much. Look, I know I'm polishing trees again. In fact, you, you, you should have just left that alone. Right, you see, I don't think you've, you've actually brought anything to the party here that anybody's going to be pleased about. Yeah, get over it. Uh, right, and since I'm in the area, we're going to put some signals on here as well. Now, I want you 
right before the merger. So about there. Okay, so we're heading up to Marlow. And at the moment, Marlow doesn't have our crossrail station. So we have the choice of... Here we are, we're coming up here. We have the choice of coming up here, mirroring the uh, the existing track. Although, to be honest, I might take a slightly different route. Probably cross over the track that exists right now, simply because it creates a little bit of, of transportation drama. Uh, and then stick our, uh, our station up here. I think I think there's merit in that. I think I think right. Okay. Well, look. Let's do what we always do, and let's uh, let's commit hard uh, by uh, what do we need? We need a three, uh, two forty length, a three, and then we'll we'll commit to something ridiculous, and then we'll make it work. So about oh, well, flip that. I start to get pricey. What's the lay of the land? Oh, it's halfway up a mountain. That's why. Well, okay, well, you know, why uh, why vary what we've been doing so far? Let's stick it halfway up the mountain. Is that what we want? Right, so, inner loop is going like this. Outer loop round the outside, and that's a terminus for the crossrail. Which, you know, with a bit of luck, that'll, uh, that'll make for uh, some demand between... Uh, go on, snap on there. What have we what have we bled off speed wise? That's not the quickest corner I've ever seen. But, you know, there is no choice in the matter now. So let's let's just take that, shall we? And then we'll stick the other one on as well. Not that I need this track right now, but I I like to get stuff plumbed in as soon as I start uh, start thinking. So you can so you can get a feel for the shape. Now those two are kinda close together. But then we'll stick another one uh, down here, I guess, and then the last one out here. And then Marlow is, is fully circuited. And obviously this uh, this exterior loop will come round the outside. I, I think I think that has merit. Uh, and because, you know, I can. Uh, no, let's keep you let's keep you straight and then we'll stick a you know why I'm why I'm fiddling around with details now, but you know, I like buffers. Buffers are cool. Uh, right, okay, so hmm, next. Well, we are going this way, which again it follows the, the the loops track for the for the inside of the town. So I want to pull this far enough away to start with that I can I can create that loop without anybody uh, complaining too heavily. And then let's get the uh, what do you mean the switch constructions failed? I find that hard to believe. You there? Come here. Get on here. There you go. See fail that. Uh, right. Uh, where's that bit of track that I was just working on? Okay. So what am I going to do? So we're now heading over there. I apologize for the small scale, but I, you know, I like to I like to bring you in on the scheme. So we're going over here. This is this is not going to be a, the cheapest piece of track ever laid, but uh, yeah, oof, you know, it's worth doing. Let's do a, let's do a little bit of a time and uh, hope we can keep a, a gentle majestic swooping curve as we go I think if we if, if we extrapolate that yeah you see we need to we need to put a put a maneuver in it's going to be around this bridge which is messy all right well maybe that's my next target maybe now if I can now uh, add regulars will know the the challenges that come with trying to build any kind of a bridge that is not perpendicular to whatever it is you're trying to cross so uh, you know how 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 in fact is this going to work this is the angle right here stuff it let's try it let's see what we get here oh we seem to get the man from Del Monte giving his thumbs up and we can even take it down at the side. Oh, yes, there you go. Huh? And they said it couldn't be done. Uh, the question is whether they say I can uh, I can double track that. Oh, that's, uh, okay, I've, I've designed that in such a way that requires a bit of a, a, a swan neck. Let's uh, let's see what we get here. You're gonna, probably going to tell me the slope's too high. Now, yeah, I had a feeling you might. Well, we can we can work on that. 
That's okay. That's that's something we can can we work on? Uh, don't know. All right, let's come the other way. Let's uh, let's peel you round here. Aggressively downhill, por favor. Yeah, okay. I don't think it's I don't think it's going to make it. I mean, we're we're viaducting. That's I mean, that's the crossing I want. So uh, so if it comes down to it, I will uh, I will delete whatever needs deleting. Mr. Road, you are the first of what I hope is few casualties. Right, there we go. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Uh, that's, a, that's a good sign. Alright, now, the question is... Which side here do I feel has got the better chance? I think it's going to be this side. Yeah, I think, I think this side has the better chance of actually being al uh, allowing me to, to link the two together. Let's get, get that bit of stone bridge on there. Alright, up as far as here. Right, here we go. Here we go. This is this is the test. Oh yes, everything is as it should be, and actually that's quite a, you know, it's a fun little fun little kink in proceedings there. Uh, where does this road actually go? Well, it looks like it connects a few towns. So, oh, it's oh, it's, <laughs> it's the remnants of the uh, of the oil link. Well. Uh, that's, uh, you know, I, I think we can safely deprecate that permanently now. Uh, I'll have to find some pine trees of some description to, to whack into the uh, the rather obvious swathe I've cut through that bit of woodland. Uh, right, okay, so now, if I were to, I mean, I imagine we're going to try and cut through whatever that is. What is that? Is that uh, it looks like an iron ore harvesting facility, right? Okay, now, it's not good. this isn't going to work. But I want to see how it's not going to work. All right, there you go. down, down, onto there. Right, two and a half million. That's fine. I've got the money. In fact, it's even suggesting it will work. Oh, that's an exciting route. Where does the tunnel start then? Where does the tunnel start? Is it all underground? Well, that's a little disappointing. We're not going to get any, you know, shots of high drama if uh, if we keep the thing underground. I, I want to go up the side of this hill. I know, less effect if effective. Yes, it is less effective. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll do it anyway. All right. Did I even make any mental notes with regard to what the shape of that thing was in the slightest? Oh, okay. Right, I, I see. Actually, that is that is as uh, as uphill as we can get, and then we have to tunnel. Well, that's a disappointment. Oh, although we do get a we do get an emergence over here. Hmm. Now, I don't really want to put a level crossing in there. I'd rather have another bridge. I would rather I'd rather make things exciting for for road users. Particularly road users who like a good bridge. Alright, let's... Uh, yeah, you see, then we've got another level crossing there. But, you know, that's that's where we're heading. Let's... Let's commit it. Let's uh, let's make that a... Make that a part of the... Uh, of the narrative. Yeah, let's get rid of that bit of road. And what I'll do here is I'll, I'll build some kind of luxurious and swanky bridge. Uh, a little smootherette here, just so that it's uh, it's got a half start. And then when I run the parallel track up there, that should make this look au naturel. Or at least more au naturel than it does currently. Nonsense. Uh, anyway, uh, this one. There we go. You, round here. Come on. That's the fella. Right, good. Because even though, you know, I, uh, don't get me wrong, at this point, tunnelling probably the more efficient way to go. But, uh, I, you know, I, I'm not paying for these flaming trains not to look at them. This isn't uh, underground simulator. And even if it was, it wouldn't make you look above ground while your trains are all doing their thing. You know, uh, 
Transport for London Management Simulator. Don't get me wrong, I'd be all over that, but uh, that's not... Uh, that is not what we are about. Right, let's uh, let's get this road plumbed in now. All right, go on, get over there. Do something majestic with a bridge. There we go. Bridge, majestic. Why do you insist on... I, I really see... You, well, this is what you don't usually bother doing. Come on, get to the point where it'll take it. There we are. And then choose the right material. Hit the tick box. Everybody's happy. Link these two up. Plenty of space. Magical. Now, that's that's a slightly more challenging corner than, uh, than we'd like. There we go. Right, from here, out to there. What do we think? Well, I think that the, you know, the, the rather aggressive 90 degree corner there, I think we can make that, we can soften that a little. There we go. Ah, that's, that's quite pleasing. Uh, then we'll do this one as well. Obviously, I could leave this for later, but I'm not going to. I'm in the mood for doing it now. So uh, I'm going to do it now. Uh, no, bridge first, bridge first. There we go, right, up and, no, no, that's down. Press the up button. There we go. What do we think of that? Uh, give me stone. Well, it's weird looking. Uh, it's got a hole. It's, it's got various holes in it. Can we dial this back a smidge? Because I mean, while it's easy enough to get a to get a bridge to go over, you know, most things. Uh, you know, the, the, the trick is making it look like you haven't just wasted... Oh, all right. All right, it's a wooden bridge. Fine. For once, I'll have a wooden bridge. As as, as ridiculous as that might be in uh, in some of the uh, chilliest parts of Europe, we'll, uh, we'll take it. I think it's nice. Uh, right, anyway, back on with the track. And actually, this should be just a case of linking it up now. So let's grab you. This is the right-hand side of the track. Right about that. I don't think I've saved any money through this. Oh, flipping that. Look at that. That's 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 quite aggressive. And why have we why have we decided to build an entire roller coaster here? No, we lived it. No, not satisfactory. Let, let's uh, there you go. Let's take you round the corner so that you've got the got the kind of heading that we need and then just a little bit further no nope. yeah. ah, I see that's why and that's because I mean how how sternly downhill are we going here let's take it as far as there to start with now I mean, you know I'm not a big fan of earthworks but uh, in this case I you know I, I don't see a way of avoiding it you know, I, a viaducts are all well and good, but uh, you know, you can get you can go too far with this stuff. So we're already ag aggressively going downhill. Obviously, I want to make that out of stone, and I don't care that I'm making all of them out of stone uh, because uh, I happen to like the look. It is a it is an appearance that is not going to age. Right, let's. What does that give us? It gives us a little bit of bridge. All right, yeah, see, that's better. That's that's fine. And then we'll smack that one down over here. There we are. And then uh, all that remains is for you to come over here and snap on, and, and we're there, and, and we're, we're in business. All right, smashing. And I'll even leave the level crossing in place. Resisting the urge to build bridges this time. Okay, good. Right, so Marlo here, yes, uh, your friend, mine, Marlo. Um, we're going to want some kind of external path because obviously, you know, the hope is that if we feed enough trains and into town, into city transport and what have you, uh, we will at some point. What do we got here? We will at some point generate uh, a little bit of external town growth. Think about where the external line is going at the same time. Oh, I could pull this miles away. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm, I, yeah, I like it. Yeah, that's great. 
I don't get me wrong. That's a that's a ridiculously aggressive bridge, but I think that the uh, you know what I'm thinking is these external lines could run one like that, right, and then another one like this, and then we'll link them back up again. See, and by doing that, I've just made that something that's going to happen. In fact, I'm going I'm to plug them in now because that's the kind of mood I'm in. Despite the fact I've got a whole other half of that at a crossrail to deal with. And that has made for quite, quite the kink in the track. Alright, let's, uh, let's have another crack at that. There we go. Uh, yeah, it is. Yes, it is reducing the top speed of the trains there. But I think it's worth it. Right, let's take this one there and then link them back up again like this. And then we'll just rock it down here. There you go. Interesting, certainly. There we go. So yeah, all right. That's that's you know that's that's novel. Um, I'm going to come back and revisit this bit of bridge. I think when we uh, when we complete the internal uh, town circuit. But for now, I do at least want to uh, want to get sufficient road up so that should anybody be inclined to uh, to construct in this area, that I'm not dissuading them from doing so. There you go. Something something like that. Right, it's hooked up. Right, so that's uh, Marlow. Right, now we need to go down to the other side of the picture and... Oh, flipping that Kids Grove is a much bigger job than I remembered. Alright, and that's where I'm going to pick it up next time. Uh, well, I, you know, not that I couldn't do it now, but I'll, I'll be another 15 minutes doing that. So, you know, that's a... That's a whole that's a whole show right there. Uh, so do please join me for that. Um, where we will uh, we will complete the crossrail project and we'll try and get three trains running on each, um, potentially leading to a a slight adjustment in the the, the flow of traffic at, at Haxby. I do not look forward to that, uh, but if it works, then I do look forward to it. So uh, yeah, so tune in in the near future to, to see that magic happen. I, I know, and, uh, you know, there's... That's it, I've, I've spent the entire episode paused. And, you know, what kind of what kind of entertainment is this? Poor entertainment, that's what this is. Um, and anyway, if you want some more poor entertainment, uh, so hit the like button to encourage me further into this uh, world of pause that we live in. Uh, and subscribe so that you can join me next time for a little more. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you next time. Cheerio. This, 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 this.